evidence of children at play is everywhere in the Elizabeth Drive trailer park in Cora Peak. In this little trailer court, it's more kids and it's been an awful long time. Michelle Grimes has lived in the small community for nearly 30 years, a place her grandkids love to roam. Children are being targeted more now, it seems like, than it ever has been. But in the last two months, she's been living on edge. She's about seven and he tried to lower her into a truck. She come screaming and got her daddy. She says on Sunday, two young girls she lives next to were approached by a man lurking in the woods, trying to lure them in. They ran away and he shouted back at them. A possible predator is an incident that has put Gates County Sheriff Ray Campbell on high alert. The description we have is very vague, you know, uh, white male, gray hair, gray beard. That's, that's literally hundreds of people. Yeah, we're all watching everybody's kids. If they're outside playing, somebody's out here with them at all times. Neighbors believe the man who is allegedly luring the kids in the woods could actually be living here. They say there's evidence of trails, beer bottles and other signs of squatting. And they say this isn't the first incident. They've actually called the sheriff's department more than three times over the course of a month. We've been out there three, four times looking for anything that we can find. Uh, maybe someone dropped something or, or foot track or prints or anything. Sheriff Campbell says he needs help from the community to get a better description. For now, he's stepping up patrols in the area. I know so many kids and they're, they're all very special to me. And uh, whenever we have a threat or anything going on with a kid, I'm, I'm going to get involved with it. In Gates County, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.